Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, telling stories with video and pictures. Hi, my name is Guy Trainin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge. And today I want to talk about quick ways to tell a story with pictures uh, or, and or video uh, even automatically. And so I will share a few ways that you can do that. I'm doing this with my photo collections, but you can do that. It is very, very helpful when you do that after a visit to a museum or a class trip or something that happened outside your classroom. You can also use a period in your classroom to create similar movies, whether they're working on projects or anything like that. It's a quick and easy way. You can do it as a teacher, but it's even better if you ask your students to do it on their own. So let's start. The first one I want to talk about that is a way to put a video very quickly together is an app called Replay. And Replay will ask you to have access to your photos. All of the apps that I'm talking about will do that. And of course, when they have access to your photos, they have also access to video. And you say, oh, yes, I want to create a new video. It'll go and it'll pick up everything that you've got on the iPad so far. And if you share streams, it'll bring you to the shared streams as well. So this is uh, my collection of photos. And what I can do is now create a movie. I can take, a, in this case, a, a few scenes from uh, my son practicing um, karate. And so you can see I just pick those uh, photos that I'm interested in. And I pick those photos and I can already preview the movie. It'll come up very, very quickly. And I can choose a style and you get a few styles to come up automatically, you can pay for more styles, but this is what it looks like very, very quickly. So this was a quick video. You just pick those pictures and you get something that you can share in almost no time. And what you can see is you can have some effects in there um, and you can have different styles. For example, I just want to show you uh, one more. Um, we'll exit this collection and uh, choose something else. Let's choose a different topic. And so this is some work we've done with iPads, different people. And we can add, that, add to that um, some work we've done presenting and celebrating um, Tech Edge. So here are some. And again, we press preview. And this time, I want to use a different kind. So what you can see here is, first of all, it, it's, it makes it black and white. It adds the music, but the other thing that it does is there's actually movement within the photo. So it gives that illusion of more of a movie. And that's all it takes. So you can create very, very quickly a movie with your photos. It's a fantastic app. Um, and I highly recommend it. It's called Replay. The next thing I want to talk about is actually inside Google+. Plus. So Google+, Plus allows you to have a collection of photos. And what happens ever since June, they've started doing this, when it recognizes by the geolocation uh, of the photos that you're taking, of course, you have to allow that, it knows that you've been in other places and it autom tries to automatically create stories based on your visits to those other places. So it recognizes the places and it creates short stories based on that. So if I go into my G Plus and I go into my photos and it says, do you want to see your stories? And I said, yes, I do. And here are some trips we took. So this is the capstone that we have with our students on campus. So this is exactly that. And this was done automatically. So uh, 
Google Plus recognizes that something specific happened and there are a lot of photos from one place or from one event. It puts them together and then you can watch it and you can do it like this. And then you can see that you can start sort going through it. Now this doesn't play as a movie, it plays as a series of photos, but you can see that you can add titles. I've added this title and you can see that it puts a selection there and you can add narrative, it puts a few together. And if you have a set of them together or a video, it'll make a, an animated GIF to go with it. So this is an example of how that would happen and this is the end of this story. You can have a lot more elaborate stories if you have something that has taken a, a much longer time. So if you have a visit to a this is my visit to California, then you have a much longer uh, display. You can let it play slowly or you can take it again with your finger and you can see that it tells you where you were, right? This is a trip to Los Angeles, this is a visit to the beach and things like that. So again, this was created automatically. I actually did not have to create it myself at all. Google recognized where I've been, what photos I've taken, it has taken a selection. Now, you can go back into Google and tell it to forget the trip or to rearrange the trip with new photos or a different selection of photos, but what I love about this is it happens without you actually doing anything, so it creates it. We talked about replay, replay was really quick. This happens without you actually having to intervene unless there was some mistake that happened. So it's a great way to create and to remind a class about a trip, highlights, uh, memories or anything like that or even share it with parents or with the students if they have access at home so they have these memories and they don't go away. You can publish it on different social media by, with a link or if everybody's on Google, they can all see it on Google+. So that's a second way to do it. The last way is Flippogram, another app that allows you to create short videos from photos uh, or photos and videos. You can add music here as well. So it works very much like Replay. So why am I presenting this? Well, for a couple of reasons. First of all, it's nice to have multiple options because apps sometimes become expensive or suddenly you, they charge from there where they didn't before. So you want to make sure that you have options. And the second thing is that Flippogram will work on a phone or an iPod Touch and so it is a, an app that will be more versatile whereas Replay is really meant for the iPad. So what you do here is you can do a few things and you can start It'll ask you if you can have it can have access to photos. I have 220 photos, including uh, photos from different places. And the great thing is about this is that it does tell you what date these photos were created. So I can take photos uh, from last week and I can put them together. Um, these are photos of different classrooms that are using um, iPads and I will take these photos as well and I'll say okay I think that's about it uh, and I click on next these are the photos I have now what I love about this one is that you can actually rearrange them so you can move them around I can take this one and put it here I can take this one and put it here so I can I have my bookends and that works out I can add more to it um, and then I can make it go uh, original or square. I feel comfortable with the way it is. And now you can add titles, you can add words, so um, it provides you more, but very quickly, and of course audio, um, you can, and this is a part I love, you can re record the voice narration so you can actually make it a presentation or you can just use music that you have uh, available. Um, I don't know. All of my songs are in the cloud so I will not use music but you'll get uh, the point here and then we just play it. And you can see how simple it is to create a short movie 
that would be a presentation or would just be a collection to summarize an activity. So if you're taking pictures, for example, as kids are working, as kids are presenting and all of that, you can quickly put that online, uh, put that on the app and then share it online if you want. So today, in iPads in the classroom, I presented three ways that you can quickly and easily, sometimes even automatically, create videos to share photos and video from trips, from visits, or even from work in your own classroom. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom. Thank you.